What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another abnormal video. Now today is Sunday, so I thought why not drop a question and answer video where I'll be answering all of your calisthenic questions. I'm looking to start off a small short series of these, so if you have any questions in the future, drop it down in the comment section below, or you can slide into my DMs at, at abnormal underscore beings. Alright, let's get straight into it. The first question is from at official subs J Ali, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, he messaged me saying, great fan of your YouTube channel, I was wondering if you can make a video about big or chubby people and how they can get leaner through calisthenics. How do you think they should approach calisthenics in order to lose weight and progress in calisthenics? I'd really appreciate it as most YouTube videos are about guys who are skinny and want to gain muscle and weight, but what about guys like me who are muscular but are carrying more fat and want to lean down? What are your opinions on that? First of all, great question man, um, I can go really into detail into this but I'm going to try and break it down and condense it so it's easier for you guys to understand. Step number one, make a start now. Do what you can now. You want to make sure that you're trying to get used to lifting your own body weight. I know it's hard since you're carrying a lot of body fat or you consider yourself quite chubby and um, overweight but you just want to make a start now, do what you can. What I mean by that, let's say you can't do a normal regular pull up, work towards building the strength to do those pull ups. So what you can do are rows, inverted rows, or you can do assisted uh, resistant band pull ups, or you can just ask someone to help you spot you do a pull up. Uh, those are just examples of ways you can regress an exercise um, to work towards like a harder exercise such as the pull up. And again with push ups, if you can't do a push up, just get into a, like a, a standing plank position or if not go on your knees and hold the push up position. There's many different ways to make a body weight exercise easier. So just make a start now, build your strength up by doing easier regressed exercises that will work towards building the strength to perform those harder exercises such as pull-ups, push-ups, dips and any kind of core work. Step number two, lose weight but most importantly body fat. Now in order to do this what you want to be doing is eating less and training more that simple. You want to be in a caloric deficit. What that means is what you consume isn't as much as what you're expending. When it comes to losing weight, I think the big confusion for people is they don't know how many calories to eat per day. So for example, your daily caloric needs. A lot of people do not know how to calculate that. Now, there's no definite way of finding out, but you can estimate it online by using a BMR calculator and then applying a physical activity level factor. So what that basically assesses is your daily caloric needs. I'll leave the link in the description below and I'll also run through how you can calculate it um, using me as an example. So once you're on the BMR calculator, as you can see, it will ask to input you your height, weight, age and gender. And then once you've done that, just simply hit calculate and it'll give you a rough estimation. Remember, this is an estimation of how many calories your body needs at rest. So that's what BMR means, is the amount of calories your body needs at rest. Let's say you're lying in bed all day, your body still needs calories to function your vital organs, and that is what the BMR is basically. The amount of calories your body needs at rest. So once you've worked out your BMR, the amount of calories your body needs at rest, you then need to take into account all your moving, all the movement, the, the exercise that you're doing throughout the day, because that also requires calories. So if you take a look at the table, it will give you a list of activity level factors. So in my case, um, I would say I'm between moderately active and very active. So I, instead of timesing it by 1.55, I'll times it, let's say, by 1.6. So I'll use my BMR, which was X amount, times by 1.6. So my total amount of daily calories that I need to maintain my current physique is 2,843 calories. That's a lot of calories, simply because I train a lot. And um, yeah, that's what my body requires if I want to maintain. Now, if I want to hit that deficit, lose some weight, let's say reduce it by 500 calories. That's equivalent to one to two pounds of body weight per week, losing one to two pounds of body weight per week, or 0 0.5 to one kilograms of body weight per week. So if I would reduce it by 500 calories, that means I would need to eat around 2,300 calories per day. I hope that wasn't too much to take on. Um, the basic gist of it is to estimate or find out the amount of calories you would need during the day and then just create a deficit for yourself in order to lose weight. Step number three, do your cardio. I can't stress enough, if you want to lose weight, you're going to have to be more active, you're going to have to do more movement. So it's different for the individual, um, but just 
be more active, man. Do a sport. If you enjoy sports, play some football, hockey, tennis, whatever it is. Be more active. If any form of cardio is too intense for you, um, what you can do is just change up your lifestyle. Instead of uh, taking your car to work, take a, a bus and then walk the rest of the way or walk to work even. You could even cycle to work. Do whatever it takes to make sure that your lifestyle is a bit more active and uh, makes you move a bit more. As you continue to train and become more active, your body will be better at utilizing fat to use as energy. And that in turn reduces body fat and will give you that nice lean ripped look. I think I've talked enough. I was actually planning on doing three other questions but um, I got passionate about this topic. I just kept rambling on so I'm sorry about that. I will try and do a, a video on your daily calorie needs as well. A better one for gaining weight also. So stay tuned for that in the future and also how, what, when to maintain or what to maintain. So yeah look out for that soon and I um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know uh, if you have any other questions. Like I said drop me a comment in the comment section below so I can use that as a future question in a video or slide into the DMs and message me on at abnormal underscore beings. Once again, it's been your boy Tayo from Abnormal Beings. Comment, like, share, most importantly subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!